hey everybody, welcome what? back to- What? Hey everyone, it's time for Mom, um, can I- Mom, 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 We're playing, well, uh, Time Mom, Crisis Mom, 5. <laughs> Mom, can I go to Malmo? <laughs> My mom is Danish and we live in Copenhagen and I'm saying, Mom, can I go to Malmo to play whatever the fuck this is? Oh, they have an arcade just a there. weekend ex uh, experience going over to Sweden for a second. What is this? This is Time Crisis Whoa. 5. I just fucking said that. No, you didn't. And you uh, can apparently fucking teleport. Yeah. Edit in a bunch of booing if I was wrong and he Where said it. <laughs> um, but <laughs> Nick, I do like the fact that... Of all things in the entire world, we mentioned the Zimbardo experiment, and the first thing that came to your mind was dating app, etc. Well, I was th I was thinking about how often we make references to it in what can char charitably be described as a joke. So then I was uh, there's a yeah there's a dating app that has a whole a series of fields like questions you can answer. And one that pops up frequently is, uh, don't hate me if, yeah. and you, you know, you would understandably put something that you think might bother another person or like something, uh, you know, that is at the core of your character that you just wouldn't give up. I think it would be appropriate for, for any of us to say, reference the Zimbardo experiment in form of humor. <laughs> if yeah, if if uh, if the Stanford experiment is a, a rich vein of comedic material, <laughs> instead of uh, something I mean, to be uttered in hushed whispers over over yeah. like <laughs> Some, something to be used as a form of condemnation. Um, what's the thing called? Like that logo that has the smiling and the frowning face, like the comedy drama mask. It's like don't oh, blame yeah. me. Oh, don't yeah. blame me if the Zimbardo experiment is on the 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 smiling side of. That icon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not my something fault completely. Pushkin. Oh yeah, the push and pushkin or whatever the fuck, the sock, yeah. sock and whatever. You know what I mean? I think it is like yeah, sock and buskin. <laughs> it sounds like nonsense, but no, we're making a reference to something. It's a well, thing. Yeah, we are actually using, or at least attempting to use the proper, well, one of the many proper nomenclatures for the comedy and drama masks. But, well, yeah, you know. it's like we're, we're using words the way that like an inarticulate three-year-old child would try to jam two toys together to get them to clip in like, you know, like <laughs> Legos that don't fit, but it's like, oh, oh, no, like a jigsaw puzzle. That's a much better, that's a better uh, simile. Yeah, two pieces that clearly don't belong together. <laughs> Go in. Bap, 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 bap. Pours, <laughs> pours water on the them so they sog into each other. That is the essence of our comedy. And also, Kyle, you just shot your teammate I right know. in the face. I know. He was right in front of me, and I just shoot anything that moves. <laughs> well, he had his... He had come, as in computer, as yeah. in your Ex friend, right me? over his head. What did it say? It's a cum oh. joke. I'm just going to pull the plug on it right now and spare us all some, some of the indignity. Okay. <laughs> so Fair enough. Thank you. Uh, I <laughs> what is this topsy turvy universe? I'm doing the right. I'm writing wrongs. Yeah. What's happening? We clearly fucked this one right out the gate. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry. I'll make up for it. Uh, I'll put in some unforgivable sound effects to <laughs> accentuate the. I'm sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, this is what I mean when I say I uh, repeatedly despite the pleading entreaties to cease doing so, that I am the man who fucks. <laughs> uh, I blame this all on uh, having to have witnessed a little bit of Rice Star today. Another, 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 another wedding ruin, just says uh, another, another uh, elderly patron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I don't doubt that you will end up doing something that if Kyle's audio hardware had like a health bar, you would be able to watch it ri almost rhythmically tip down closer to zero. I don't think he has a limiter because the house isn't burned down yet. <laughs> well, I just mean like even the yeah, even the magnetic <laughs> coils and stuff in the microphones or well, that the interface I itself just not wanting to deal with all of that. Well, there's things that will churn excess sound into heat energy, and we know better than to try to use one of those. <laughs> because yeah, that uh, sounds like it will be weaponized in your hands. Yeah, nobody, nobody's like, man, we don't have a dedicated. We can't. We don't have enough to hire someone whose only job it is to hit the button when that meter yeah. goes too high. We can't <laughs> afford an A2. Like I can't even fucking be the A1 for this shit. 
We need an, we need an AK to someone whose only job it is to bring me down. <laughs> but they misunderstand. We're not paying them enough to be professional. So when I start yelling so loud that the limiter brings us within conflagration range, he just says, Keith, you're a failure and everything you've ever tried hasn't worked out. And I go, oh. <laughs> and oh. then Kyle flips out and goes, that's not what I meant by bring him down, but good job. You're getting a raise. <laughs> much like a yeah, much like a Vegas casino, we have to hire a cooler. Although his job is slightly <laughs> different from somebody stalking the card tables. With our budget, we'd hire an actual igloo cooler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's got to be a special housing to put the hardware in. Yeah, we, like we yell, I yell, I yell, and then like the the cooler closes. It just goes from. And then yeah. we know I can see it if we were if we were more of like a game grump sort of operation, you know, like multiple sets of eyes on things. Yeah, uh, th there'd be somebody who's just like watching a temperature gauge on a like a makeshift cooling apparatus. The needles just getting higher and higher, and we keep looking over our shoulders into the engineer's booth, and he's like shaking his head, like no, 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 <laughs> please take it, please take it down a notch. We can't do any more of this. <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, except, uh, the, the, the extra set of eyes on it are some glitchy-ass shark eyes. <laughs> 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 uh, whatever, I tried to make a joke. It didn't work. The, uh... It's nonsense. The, um, yeah, we would have a sign in the recording booth that's kind of like, you know, those applause signs for old TV, uh, for the studio audience. <laughs> Just for you, Except fuck. it's, uh, yeah, it says, no more jokes. <laughs> <laughs> No, this no more frantically hose? mashing what? the button. No, no more jobs. What does it say? And I just keep yelling. <laughs> and what? pretty what the fuck? Pretty soon it uh, it comes true. There are no more jobs because all the equipment burned down. Mm. <laughs> it's a self fulfilling prophecy, which is why the sign should have read "fuck." My, I can read that. I can interpret sp that. Spider Man with like the way I climb these fucking buildings. Uh, yeah, you're just teleporting everywhere, and you ran right through that. Laser beam, I guess. Yeah, fuck I lasers, like to man. imagine there's strategically placed magnets and it's just pulling you up by the grills in your choppers. <laughs> That's the best <laughs> I can do. That was the best laugh yeah. I could get. I'm sorry, everybody. I, I'm trying. I'm trying my best, but you know, I am fuck. <laughs> yeah, usually when we let Keith drink on an empty stomach, it produces something a little more usable. Normally we don't let Keith do anything. He just does. Yeah. Well, I mean, Kyle, the, the, the You gotta shoo him out of the refrigerator like you're scaring a raccoon away from your trash can. Yeah, there's nothing keeping you from hooking up the blue paws in your fridge to some kind of a, a shock. <laughs> <laughs> I, I touch Except, him. I guess, the safety of anybody else who ever tries to use that fridge and, like, tries to just slightly move them out of the way. <laughs> Is that Bam Margera? Yes. Huh. Flying a helicopter with malice. <laughs> That's what he's up to these days. Is malice another yeah. person from Johnny Knoxville's clique? Yeah!